Hi guys, PJ here. Today we are removing the radio from a Kia Seed 2. Uh, these particular cars are very simple, very straightforward to do. It's just the radios are incredibly stiff to get out. So because I'm only doing this one-handed, I have removed some clips first. Right, all you're going to need to get to the radio is a plastic, uh, you know, leverage tool. Now as you can see, they are that stiff. I've actually chipped the corner off the one I've just been using. So. You can start at the bottom corners by levering it out. Now they are incredibly difficult. They, you know, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on the foam pad in here and it is gonna bend in. It's fairly resilient. Just watch you don't catch the edges of your scraper on the, on the soft bits, because obviously you'll chip a bit of it out. Once you've managed to get that bottom corner uh, loose, that is the hardest part because the clips are that strong, it is ridiculous. So once you've got it a bit loose, put your fingers under it and just pull it and i mean you are gonna have to pull it to some degree and the clips will pop each side when you've got your top when you've got your side clips popped move up to the top here get your, your spatula and put it as far in as you sort of can sort of an inch yeah and pull it forward the two mounting clips at the top should then pop and you'll be able to get your fingers around the top of the air vents and pull again quite hard once you've done that the whole front fascia lifts away and at the back you have wiring plugs that you need to squeezy connect just squeeze them together and they will pull out so there's one for all the airbag system once you've unplugged that plug do not turn your ignition on you will have the airbag warning light come on if you do so unplug that one and then at the bottom here there you go you got your heater one so we'll unplug those now let's have a look at that okay and there we go we've taken the fascia away this particular car having five plugs one two three four five one at the top here obviously depending on your model you may have more uh, they come from the rear of your fascia just there look there's your your heater ones and also your airbag one at the top there after that it's just a very simple job as you can see the stereo is held in with four mounting screws one here one here one at the top there undo those four which i shall do right now Okay, so we've now removed all four screws. Yeah, there we go. Just grab hold of your stereo. It's quite a weighty thing. So what you want to do is try and get some foam or some cardboard just to pad out below it because you don't want to drop it down on your plastic there and scratch everything. Uh, if the gear lever is going to be a problem, put a bag over the top of it to stop that getting scratched. So anyway, grab the radio. Give it a bit of a wobble because it's on some plastic lugs. Drop it down. Now what you've got to watch, look, is the metal here right near your dashboard. Yeah. So just pay attention to that. You don't want to scratch anything. At the back, there you go, you've got a FACRA aerial plug, the one with the little purple block on it. And you've got a normal wiring connector there with squeezy tabs. We will remove those now. Bear with me on that one. Okay, so there's your little squeezy tabs that we've just pulled out. Look on the sides. Just basically squeeze together and pull and it'll come out. Bottom one there, standard ISO connection. Again, squeeze your tab on the side, squeeze it, pull, and it will come out for both of those. Move your uh, radio out of the way so it's nice and safe. On most of them, they also have a three and a half millimeter USB plug, which is this one. Bottom left hand corner of the radio, squeeze the clip, pull. Same with obviously the aerial connector. Just squeeze the tab, pull. Now, you can fit stalk control adapters to these if you've got steering controls like that. You've got volume on the steering wheel. Now, this particular car, there's two different versions listed. So I'll tell you at the end which one of these is correct. You've got this part number, which is a Connects 2 kit. There you go. And also this part number, non-amplified. Now, I'm going to go with non-amplified for this particular model of car. Amplified meaning they'll have a little amplifier that runs all the speakers in them. You can normally tell, um, you know, what sort of kit they've got in them. I'm believing this one's not amplified, so we'll be using that one first. We'll get all that plugged in and see if everything works. Go from there and come back in a sec. So the stereo is all fitted now and the steering control adapter was the one that I've got labelled here in front of us. Um, you can always tell if they're amplified or non-amplified because the little block that goes in the back of the radio basically one of them's for speakers and one of them's for power if it has all the wires in it then it is non-amplified if it only has two wires in it 
they're rear amplified. If it has none, then obviously it's fully amplified. This particular one, not amplified, nice straightforward. It's the most common one. This is the part number you're going to need. And that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. If it was any help at all, please click like on your way out. Goodbye for now.